Another story we follow closely as the civil war widens in Ethiopia. Some 8,000 people of Jewish descent are still waiting there to be brought to Israel, all based on a government decision dating back to 2015 in order to be reunited with their families here in Israel. Our Pierre Kloschedler spoke with members of the community as the fate of their loved ones weighs on Naftali Bennett's coalition. I collect empty cans to support my children and grandchildren who are still there. I've been waiting for 15 years for them to be brought here, longing for them, praying every day that nothing happens to them. A storm of feeling rages on in the hearts of the three women of this family, three generations of women, Engadai Elamnek, 84, Eftam, her daughter, Eti, her granddaughter. We call on WhatsApp every day. Sometimes it takes three days. Why don't they answer? Why aren't they available? They say internet access was cut off. Five of Engadai's eight children and their respective families, all in all 35 people, are stranded in Gondar, not far from the front line. The civil war between the Tigray regions rebels and the federal government's armed forces in this country of the Horn of Africa has, in a way, invited itself in Israel. It's frightening. My nephews were recruited, then released. We fear for them all the time. Are they dead? Were they kidnapped for a ransom? Some 8,000 Falashmura, Ethiopians of Jewish descent whose ancestors converted or felt forced to convert to Christianity, are awaiting immigration to Israel. A wait which dates back to a 2015 government's decision which lasts without knowing till when, without knowing when they will finally be reunited with their families in Israel. We cry and they cry and no one's helping us at the interior ministry. Kiryat Malachi is the town that has the largest number of Ethiopian Israelis in the country. The fate of their dear ones now weighs on the fate of Naftali Bennett's coalition, which is grappling with a double barrel dilemma. Are they facing an imminent danger? And are they Jewish? Opinions are divided. They're Jewish? They must be brought to Israel. They're not Jewish? Problem. We don't want assimilation with non-Jews. They're human beings. What's the matter? Can we Jews say such a thing? Anyone else can say that, not us. We released a thousand terrorists for one of our soldiers. We must bring them back here to their children, to their parents. Mom is Jewish. Why not her children? People who aren't Jewish are allowed to live in Israel. Why? What's the problem, the reason? If we're not Jewish, why am I here? Why two of my brothers and sisters are here? Why mom is here? Why did they bring us here? Why? It annoys me that our Jewish identity is in doubt, because I know that they're looking at the color of our skin. They envision compromise to speed up the immigration of 5,000 Ethiopians who have first-degree relatives in Israel. What will happen? No one knows. It's so sad. I want the government to reunite them in the land of Israel with mom. That's all I ask. I don't need anything else. I want them to keep their promise. One day, something will happen to her, God forbid. May she die when all her children are around her, here in Israel. That's her dream. Last week, the 160,000-strong community celebrated the annual Sigurd Festival, which extols the unbreakable covenant between Beta Israel and the State of Israel a shared fate which has been affected by this long separation. Prayers are addressed to God, please, to the state. Pierre Kloschendler, I-24 News, Jerusalem.